Squid are a diverse group of soft-bodied marine mollusks that come in varying sizes. Some species are less than an inch long, while others are dozens of feet long. There are over 300 species. Like octopuses and cuttlefish, squid are cephalopods. They have elongated bodies, large image-forming eyes, eight arms, and two tentacles. Between the eyes is a large brain. They have a small internal skeleton, called a pen, that is made of chitin. The pen partially supports the mantle, which is the main part of the body. The mantle holds all the major organs, such as the gills and three hearts. Aside from the outliers, like the bobtail squid that belong to a separate order, squid are part of two main orders, myopsida and egopsida. Myopsida squid eyes have a cornea-like covering. They have two club tentacles with suckers. They lack hooks on their tentacles, and the group mostly consists of inshore families. Egopsida squid eyes lack that covering, and they live in deeper waters. Many possess hooks on their tentacles. The large Humboldt squid has suckers ringed with sharp, claw-like hooks. These squid can feed on sharks and they have attacked divers. The giant squid is one of the largest cephalopods. They are suspected to reach over 60 feet long. The giant squid also has some of the largest eyes in the animal kingdom, being about the size of a volleyball. Squid are voracious open water predators with a venomous bite. They live in the water column. The two long tentacles are used to grab prey, while the eight arms act to hold the prey. The two tentacles are much longer than the arms and they can retract. The arms and tentacles surround the mouth that contains a sharp beak made of chitin. The narrow esophagus passes through the middle of the brain to the body. Because of this, they must break food into small bits. Their beak contains a radula that helps cut food into chunks for swallowing. The radula is a tongue-like structure covered with teeth. They rely heavily on their sight to locate prey. They typically prey on fish and crustaceans. Some species, like the Humboldt squid, are cannibalistic. Squid are fast swimmers. The mantle has a swimming fin on each side. They move by jet propulsion with the help of their tubular funnel. This involves taking water into their mantle cavity and jetting it through the funnel. The funnel can point in any direction to make for a quick escape. Their streamlined shape helps them move through the water faster. Many species are negatively buoyant and have to swim constantly in order to stay in the water column. Squid breathe by drawing water into the funnel and then expelling it. Squid usually travel in groups. In the surface waters of the open ocean, schooling squid can be distributed over enormous areas. They may vertically migrate thousands of feet each day. This is because many open ocean squid remain in the deep dark ocean during the day and vertically migrate to the surface at night to follow food sources like shrimp and lanternfish. Others stay deeper where sunlight never penetrates. Squid change colors for camouflage and signaling. Their skin has specialized cells called chromatophores that can open or close in a fraction of a second to produce colorful patterns. Some species are bioluminescent and able to use counterillumination to camouflage from predators by matching the surface light above them. This way their silhouettes are hidden. This is particularly useful for species that live in the mid-ocean. Many squid species can eject a cloud of ink to distract predators. Many vertebrates depend on squid for food. Large bony fish, sharks, seals, seabirds, and whales are some of their predators. For example, the gray-headed albatross and the sperm whale feed almost exclusively on squid. Many species are also caught and consumed by humans. Squid are short-lived and they grow very fast. Current research involves using statoliths, the balance organs in the back of the head, to determine the age of individuals. A squid may eat 30% or more of its body weight each day and increase in biomass by 10-15%. to 
per day in the first half of its life cycle. Most squid complete their life cycle in one or two years, dying after reproduction. Although some squid taxa lack the structure, many squid transfer spermatophores to females using a specialized arm called the hectocotylus. Males may have physical fights to compete for a mate. Males die soon after mating. Females expel large masses of eggs and then die shortly after. Squid are quite intelligent. The squid brain has been compared to a dog's brain. They are actually able to count, solve problems, recognize patterns, and communicate through a number of signals. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.